here from Property Stories. So this morning, I received a call from a friend with regards to his SME loan. The story goes like this. He went to apply for SME loan with a bank, but did not get any reply. The bank was very slow, so he cannot wait. So what he did next was that he go to Facebook and click the, the, one of the ads that given. When he clicked, the banker, someone who claimed from the bank, called, gave him a call and processed his loan. His loan was approved already. Now, the banker is actually asking for an administration fee eh, upon the loan approval, which is about 1% of the loan amount. The banker is person A, the one that processed the loan, but he gave uh, account details of person B, totally different person, eh, and asked him to bank in there, and then only they, he can actually go to sign the agreement. His reasoning is that this money that he's collecting is just to make sure that he signs the agreement because he has a lot of experience where people apply and don't sign the agreement. So my friend, puzzled by this request, gave me a call and asked me whether these are models of Prandi or the bank and whether there is such practice out there. So before I go on, if you are watching this on YouTube, hit the like button, hit the share button and watching this on Facebook, share and also hopefully you will benefit your friends and family out there. First off, we go through the phenomenon itself. At this point of time, where tough times, I understand SMEs, individuals alike are looking for cash and there's a lot of ads uh, targeting you all out there that claims to have refinancing, they claim to have a secret of SME financing where you can get cash and many who are desperate I, who will click on the ads. So it's hard to say which one is genuine and which one is not because the third party, they are third party brokers for, for these type of products and they are allowed to run ads. Okay. So first thing first, the models of Brandy of the bank is not, is never this, they never collect customer money. They never collect customer money. Eh? This, the banker is not allowed to handle money. The banker, I repeat again, the banker is not allowed to collect money from customer for any loan approval or any loan applications. Okay, when you apply a loan application and the banker asks you for money, that is most likely the third party and or most likely is a, is a fraud and scam. Do not fall for this. The only person, the second question is that whether there is a such models of Prandi. The answer is yes. Out there, they are brokers. These are called brokers. They are third party. They are not affiliated with any bank. So you can say that they are independent contractors, much like a real estate agent or insurance agents, where they take your application and they help you to beautify your profile and send to the banks. This, yes, they will charge you money to, for their time and consultation. And it's up to you to negotiate what you want to pay them. Okay, there is a standard market rate, I think, but there is such cases and there is such people out there in the market that helps all this. You have helped advise you, especially in the complicated world of SME banking. SME banking, SME loans is not easy to get, so you need these people to actually advise you. The thing is, whether you transfer this money or not, that is a question. Do you know the banker? Do you trust the banker? Even if it's a third party, if he can get you the loan, if you pay him a bit to get the loan, why not, right? But the key here is whether do you trust the banker, do you know the banker? What I recommend is that you, of, of course, you go to the bank directly and apply. If you can't get, you don't know any banker representing that bank, never mind. Go to their website, get their phone number and give them a call or go to their website and leave a message saying that you want to apply a loan, ask them, to call you or if you are on Facebook which much, many of you are go to a page that is verified make sure you go to the official page of the bank how do you know this let's just say you take uh, any bank uh, let's just uh, bank name the name there then beside you will see a blue tick that blue tick is actually a verified account then you can message them you send a message and ask them say I want to apply a loan can get someone to call me from the bank okay last but not least Remember, 
when you're applying for a loan or apply for anything, you are actually giving your personal information to these people. Make sure these people are genuine ones. And make sure you trust these people. Okay? Before you even apply, because you don't know what they're going to use the data for. So that's it for me from now. Remember, every time you are dealing with a bank or any application for whatsoever, you are dealing with your personal data. So do not give it out lightly, okay? Give it out to somebody you can trust. Make sure you verify the identity of the person. Make sure you ask the questions. Don't be afraid to ask the questions. Don't let the emotion or desperation overcome you and you get scammed. Be careful out there. Even as the time gets worse, there will be more and more of this. So be vigilant and stay safe. This is Kenny here from Property Stories. See you again. Bye-bye.